This is an example of using a combo chart for trend analysis and outlier analysis. In this scenario, we're looking at monthly uh, order volume and then adding a trend line. This trend line is based on the six month moving average um, and then a bounding area, upper and lower bounds. This is three times standard deviation um, as my upper and lower. The last piece is I highlight the dots that are outside of the bounding area, in this case, making those red and those are my outliers. The way this is set up is by first starting with the table where I've grouped by month, truncated to the month, and then calculating the values for my chart. Uh, first, I need the monthly orders. That's a sum of quantity. I need the trend line, which leverages the moving average over the last six months. Similarly, a standard deviation moving over the last six months. And then calculate the lower and upper bounds. Uh, the lower bounds, as I mentioned, is a trend line minus three times the standard deviation. And the upper is the trend line plus three times the standard deviation. Finally, we need the outliers. And in this case, we're basically looking for the situation where the monthly orders are greater than the upper bounds or the monthly orders are less than the lower bounds. Um, and that gives me my final values here. You'll notice there are a subset. There's also nulls here. I'll talk about how we handle that later. So to set this up in a combo chart, um, I bring in basically the values that I want on the y-axis. And I need to select the uh, line or chart type for each of these items. Um, so if I start with the monthly orders, this is my blue line. So I make this shape a line and it has dots on it as well to highlight those exact values. Similarly, my trend line is also a line. Um, in this case, I made it a dash line using custom formatting. And then my outliers um, are, is not a line. In this case, it's a point. Um, and you notice that point, red point, is bigger than the blue point. So I made that larger so it could overlay and highlight on top of the line. Um, to show me my R specifically. Finally, I need my upper and lower bounds. Um, I do that using uh, an area chart. Um, and so I have an area for the upper and an area for the lower. Uh, the next step is to make the colors that I want. Um, so I select blue, red, and then white for my lower bound. This basically makes this transparent or hides uh, the, the background. And that helps there. I also hide some of the outliers that are nulls because I don't want those to appear and sort of offset my whole chart. Um, so that's the main formatting. Probably the one trick of this is just getting the colors because, as I mentioned, this has transparency. You notice this is a gray box. Um, I need to hide that. And the way I was able to do that is if I went in and turned off the background. See, this is what it would look like out of the box. I have this light gray area here. What I did then is I sampled uh, that color and I added that as my custom background here. Um, that's also the same color I used from the custom points. And by doing that, even though this actually is an area, it's hidden, wouldn't be visible within the final rendering, and it gives you a straightforward way to leverage a combo chart 